Okay, now I'm trying again another night which is clear, just before the clouds creep in to observe the comet Tsu Chin Shan Atlas A3. And let's see if I can find it this time. This time I'm going to use the Nagler 31 kilometer, 31 millimeter uh, with the lovely DS Pro uh, ATE DS Sky Watcher. So we will see how it will do. Oh, it has such an intense coma. It's almost a star-like, but with a visible disk. The coma or halo of this comet is amazing, big. Uh, the comet at the moment, I think, is magnitude 3 or 3.2, something like that. The stars around it uh, are in that uh, range. So it is getting fainter gradually. Last night I think it was around 3 or 2.7 to 3. Now this is fainter. So interesting. And it's getting gradually smaller it seems. Unless there is a burst of the gases in this. It will continue to get uh, you know, weaker and weaker. Now this is a Siberia tall uh, Erfel 50 mm is a Russian eyepiece. Uh, practically Nagler is a modified Erfel, so uh, expect to have also wide field of view. And I'll photograph it. It's nice. It's wider. It's slightly probably wider than the what we can see with the Nagler. This is a 21 mm Ethos Teleview 100 degree IPS on this uh, uh, telescope. Let's see how is the view. Okay, Ethos is one of the hardest uh, eyepieces to photograph, so I was not able to do a lot of photographs, good photographs. So imaging with it is, is difficult, 100 degrees, and it's difficult to actually find the best position for the camera over the eyepiece. I think the best one so far was the uh, airfall, which was easier. Okay, just for the sake of the comparison, I'm using now APM 20 mm 100 degree eyepiece. Again, uh, for imaging, as difficult as the ETHOS 21, so I'm giving up on this. I'm going now for a 68 degrees max vision 34 mm. So this is a max vision and is a 68 degrees 34 mm focal length. Let's just see how it is, easy or difficult. Uh, okay, probably I'm getting tired. That's the reason I cannot, uh, you know, hold the camera firmly. I'm holding by hand, you know. I'm just going to bring a plus hole and just put it 
to here just to see how easy it is, is with the plus or uh, orthoscopic. Of course, it's getting cloudy a little bit, the sky. Okay, this is a very basic generic 26mm uh, 2 inch eyepiece. Uh, it's equal to one of these uh, Mead Q uh, eyepieces. It's, uh, it doesn't have even a brand name now, it's just so abundant. So, anyway, let's see how it is with this one. So definitely better. Hallelujah. This is really good. <laughs> I like it. There's some reflections, but anyway, you can say this is probably a, equal to a plus or 26 millimeter, but it may not be a plus or it's more complicated than that. It may be an airfall, but uh, it's quite good. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. I, I easily, despite being tired, f smaller field of view makes it possible for you to actually hold the camera easier. So I'm going now for a 40 millimeter plus hole. This is a Mead Super Plus O, 40 millimeter. Let's see how is the view through this. Okay, I must be really tired. I can visually see it, I cannot photograph it. So that's it. The best so far was those ones that you saw the image. Probably the 26 millimeter cheaper one.